And so we are back with another week of the most heartwarming shoujo of this season. And I'm talking about Yubisaki to Ren Ren, also known as a sign of affection. Um, I hope I'm not the only one that cried from the opening. I didn't cry, but it almost made me cry. And that's a first for every single anime series I've ever watched. So we, of course, was introduced to our main couple of this ser series. Yuki and Itsumi and already already Itsumi is best boy of the season best man of the season okay he is willing to go through the lens of wanting to learn sign language as a guy that's already has he's trilingual on top of where we see now Yuki her world which was very enclosed is now slowly starting to open because of her interactions going forward with Itsumi. So without further ado, let's get into A Sign of Affection, Episode 2. Oh, okay. And this is Japanese sign language, so it's not the, it's not the same as one that's learned here. <laughs> mm. Yo, Rin is best girl, okay? She's best wing woman, all right? Let me in your world, bro. That, oh, and a man said that to me. Oh, my Lord, my heart. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He's speaking English. Go, go get him. Oh, he has to take. Wait, wait. Yeah, he wants you to speak to him. Yeah, he's waiting. You gotta tell him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
Oh, my man is flying. Did he? Oh, yeah. I forgot he's going. Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. That's why he got that big pad pad. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to know that too. the childhood front yep 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 mm-hmm <laughs> yeah the the childhood best friend that uh has a crush okay it's, it's about to be like that No offense, his face looks like a blow-up doll. And stop. <laughs> mean things to me inside no <laughs> now nah, Ren is in love with the boss. Is it that easy to just pick, pick between a crush or I'm in love? I didn't know it was that easy to say I'd rather crush or I want to love. <laughs> oh. oh. Mm. Thank you. Oh, he was telling him you didn't pay. Mm. 
I, I can I can guess that too, yeah. I think he's indirectly talking about Yuki. He ain't liking it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow <laughs> oh look at all the kids dang And this is the difference between Itsumi and Osumi. Try his name real quick. It's no longer a crush, you're in love. Yeah, okay, you want to see him? Or he sees you? It is, it is, Jesus, what type of souvenir is that? <laughs> mm. Boy just love putting his hand on her.
Not in a bad way, as you know. Mm. Oh wow. Only four okay, okay. Yeah, I forgot she dyed her hair. He's right behind you. No, it's not him. Oh, she yes. Dang, with the attitude signing, bro. <laughs> like his signing is so aggressive. It fits him though. There's a softness to it. Do you not see her or you? Yeah, she sees the sky with him. The sky is the limit. Mm. 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 
I know he means well, but you know. tell you she is best psych no not even psychic best woman wing woman rin no she's lying to you oh no that's hanging there okay okay rin is best wing woman all right another cute episode and this episode basically showed the expansion of how much yuki's world is opening up so as clearly in episode we saw that she explains her history where obviously she is born completely deaf from oshi who was her childhood best friend and she went to a school that is for the deaf and from basically nursery aka pre-k nursery you know little kids three and up um to high school okay and she made the decision and you can obviously see that she at the same time was making decisions for herself expanding her world because one part of her world is closed off the world of hearing right so obviously you can tell from her being college versus her from her high school days she made a decision to what dye her own hair right that does hold a significant value if you guys don't know like changing the color of your hair that takes a lot of courage because you don't know if it'll fit you well or not and that does expand your world because that leads you to what be very creative with how you look and how you present yourself right so that's one two if you guys realize in the episode um there was particular moments in the episode from like the mirrors on the street one side was light the other side is dark and then the birds we have one bird that was facing i guess like north going forward while the other one was shadowing behind back um i really like how they use like some metaphors or in ways sound to signify moving forward or a brand new world or a world where you stay the same stagnant and that leads into and i could be reading into it of course that's just me but the way the episode is presenting versus how you will read it in the manga because the manga can only tell you so much in detail but seeing it moving and hearing the voices and seeing how they take artistic directions with it obviously we were introduced to the childhood best friend oshi and if you've read enough romance series okay whether it's shoujo shonen seinen jose right but enough romance series we know that he is under the curse of he will never get the girl or even she if it's vice versa then she will never get the boy right so Oshi is the childhood best friend and he signifies comfort he signifies stagnancy he's you know he he's the guy that's like isn't it better if and they even show like why do you come to college he wants her to remain safe even with the guy who look like he didn't pay because you know he looks like older and find out he's deaf um he was telling this woman that he saw walking the dog and everything he's like the world for deaf people is kind of dangerous because they can't hear they're, they're in a more dangerous spot which i will agree with him on um because you can't hear your surroundings so you don't know what's really happening around you at all because again you lost one of the uh what's it call senses of yours everything else is hiding except for sound um and then he's like what he said obviously leads into where again comfort stagnancy um wanting to stay in one place because it's safe um 
that's basically what he said like for deaf people they should only stay in places that they are safe and every time they show him he's they're showing him in like a more darker setting versus Itsumi who's always showing in a very light setting um the world is huge around him um he's always going to different places it's never dark when they're around him and i really like how they took that in the direction to show the two love interests even though you're going to see way more when it comes to itsumi in the series because he's the one that's going to be expanding yuki's world okay he's the guy that's like she should be able to experience various things she should not be hindered due to her lack of bodily autonomy something she could not control right so he gives her um the room to expand the room to walk forward and continue so just learning everything around her he's he's showing her the world okay little by little whereas all she feels and it's not to say like he's a horrible person um but he wants to keep her safe he doesn't want her to be in danger and i think that in a way limits her growth you know and even the way he talks to her it is very soft it's very direct very pointed but as she was explaining it's still soft so he seems prickly but he's soft on the inside so i it, i guess it also bleeds into the fact that like they are childhood friends so probably he's seen things that like it to me doesn't know about so that's why he's more like prone to wanting to keep yuki safe but that hinders her growth he think he's doing it in the benefit of her but really it can be the opposite of that so i really did like how they showcase that because you wouldn't have really saw that if you read the manga of course of course it has been a minute since i read the manga these chapters it's been a few years okay so i don't remember everything that's in the beginning it's been it's been about like give or take three years or so since i last read the beginning of the series so do excuse me if i don't remember everything in the beginning because again it's, it's been it's been a minute but overall another cute episode my girl is in love it's a season of love despite how cold it is outside okay she's falling more and more in love with him and he's learning a little sign language while at that too okay so he said let me into your world I told you if, if someone said that to me, I'm, I'm swooning. I am swooning. I yeah, Take me. Take me. I am letting you into my world, okay? But guys, do tell me in the comment section below on how you feel about this week's episode of A Sign Effect of Affection, also known as Yubisaki to Run Run. If you have also read the manga, do tell me how you felt about this episode versus the manga chapters of course but nothing further than that so we don't spoil anime onlys the links are in the description box you guys go check that out and i'm kimmy chan and i will see you guys later bye